I'm going to demonstrate how to create a surface blend between these three surfaces. So if I wanted to create a surface blend between the two surfaces, I could select the edge of one surface, join two surfaces feature and select the others. However, this does not give us the option to join our third surface into the mix. And also, they do not follow our guide curves that we've got created here. So I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to show you how it's done manually. I'm going to view down the z-axis and show just the wireframe. And first of all, what I need to do is trim these surfaces so that they are not extending further than the guide curves. I'm going to do that using work planes. I'm going to snap a work plane to the edge of that surface there and then grab my x-axis round to the edge of the guide curve. I'm going to go to limit selection, looking down the y-axis and I'm going to trim like so. I can then delete that work plane. I'll just create a new one and attach it to the edge of this surface here. This time I'm going to move the z-axis round, snap it to the end. I'm going to go to my general edits again, limit selection. Still looking down the y-axis, I'm going to trim. Okay. I'm going to trim the third surface slightly differently, just using a line, purely to show a different way of trimming. I'm going to snap the line, a straight line to the edge of that guide curve and the edge of that guide curve and then I'm going to go to limit selection again this time I'm going to change the mode to work plane project mode with that line selected as my cutting object I'm just going to look down the z-axis and trim ok so I can delete that line and I'll go back to my top view I'm going to make my surfaces visible and then I'm going to create the guide curves between the two surfaces, between the three surfaces, sorry, that uh, we can create a new surface from. I'm going to do that using composite curves. I'm going to zoom right in to my first um, surface and I'm going to select the edge there. I'll zoom out and jump across. And I'm going to jump across this gap and we'll get a prompt. Do we wish to jump across the to the selected position and we can use tangent so I'm going to say yes and I'm going to extend that line down. So we've got this curve here that we can create a surface from using these surfaces here. I'm just going to create my other two guide curves between the other two surfaces. Zoom into here. I'm going to create a composite curve, but this time I'm going to go and jump over to this surface here. I'm going to go right to the edge. I'm going to jump across the gap with tangents and just extend that further as well. Okay, I'm going to do the same for this one here. Jumping across, and we've got three new composite curves joining the three surfaces together. I'll save that, and I'm not going to eject just yet. Now I've got these three curves made. I'm going to create composite curves around these top quarters of my original surfaces. So I'm going to select this edge here and reverse it and just create a curve there and do that for the other side. I'm going to save that. I'm going to do this for my other three surfaces. So I select that, reverse it and save it. One more left to do. I'll 
I'll save that. So getting everything back into view. I also know that these two guide curves here, well there's two guide curves, so I need to create a single composite curve joining those up. And now I can eject that. What I'm going to do is select all my surfaces and actually hide those. And I'll view along here and I'm going to shift select first of all these four surfaces. Go to my surface mode, smart surfacer and I'm going to apply that. I'm then going to choose these four surfaces here and apply that. I'll just move around so I can see and apply that. So if I show everything, we've got our initial new surfaces made for our surface blend. I look down the top. I'm just going to delete these composite curves and create a new composite curve going around these edges here. So I'm just going to click around there and save it and then go back to my smart surfacer we automatically get a fill-in with a tangential surface. So I'll close that down. Delete that composite curve. Just change my shading mode. And I can simply copy, mirror these three surfaces using my general edits over to the other side. Go to my general edits and mirror those across and say OK. And we've almost finished. Now all I'm going to do is select this orange surface here, go to my paint brush mode and change everything to that same colour. And there we have how to create a surface blend between these three surfaces.